Bluetooth vernier caliper. How to read and what dimensions to set the caliper to. Basically all the things you ever wanted to know about a gear tooth vernier caliper but were afraid to ask. Stay tuned, let's get started right now. Gear tooth vernier caliper, how to read and what dimensions to set the caliper to. If you're one of my students and you're watching this, uh, this is our level 3 GM project. The important things to point out is we're only cutting 7 teeth of 28, so it's basically 1 quarter. Uh, the diametrical pitch is 8. The pitch diameter is 3.5. The hole depth, we're going to go through and calculate that in this video. And the pressure angles, 14 and a half degrees. Before we get into direct measuring, we need to understand some of the names of the parts of the gear. So let's go through this. The outside diameter is the actual outside diameter of the gear. In some cases, they machine the gear's outside diameter down to make the center distance between gear and gear fit better, but we're not covering that in this video. Pitch diameter is the diameter of the pitch circle. The working depth is the sum of the addendums of two mating gears. Hole depth, the depth of a tooth space equal to the addendum plus the dedendum, or the depth to which the tooth is cut. So basically, the hole depth is the depth that you're going to take your cutter to. Addendum. The distance the tooth extends above the pitch circle. Dedendum. The distance the tooth extends below the pitch circle. Tooth th thickness. Thickness of the tooth at the pitch circle. The dimension used in measuring tooth thickness with a vernier caliper. Here we see two gears that are working together. Let's zoom in a small amount. Here, if we take a look, the distance from the top of this tooth to the bottom of this tooth would be your working depth. The distance from here to here is your clearance, which you add from here to here, which is gonna be the hole depth, which is the depth that you're gonna put your cutter down to. A rack and a gear or a circular gear are basically the same thing except for on a rack the teeth are stretched out across one axis where on a gear the teeth are wrapped around a circle. So if I was going to set my gear tooth vernier caliper up to measure this what I would be checking on a rack is basically the addendum which is from the top of the gear down to your pitch diameter we would measure your tooth thickness here to here. It would look something like this. Now where this gets a little bit tricky is when we do a round gear like this. If we take a look at the top here, your gear is not flat. It has a crown to it. So then we do a calculation. So you have your standard addendum that goes from the top down to here. Then you take in account the crown which is your corrected addendum. With this little pictorial, I exaggerated the arc a small amount so it would be easier to see. This is a very, very tiny amount. So let's go through and do some calculations. Things we need to know, we need to know what the addendum is. The addendum is one divided by the diametrical pitch. In this case, we're using eight, and therefore our addendum for this particular gear is going to be 0.125. The corrected addendum. So in this case, our calculation for the corrected addendum is going to be 1.219 divided by the pitch. In our case, is 8. Therefore, in this case, our corrected addendum, which is going to be the distance that we measure from the top of the gear down, is going to be 0 0.127. In making this video, I used about seven different sources. And in some cases, there's two different numbers that we used for our tooth thickness.
So we are going to use the number uh, 1.5708. We're going to divide that by the diametrical pitch, which in our case is 8. So therefore, our tooth thickness is 0 0.196. How deep do we need to machine? Which is going to be our hole depth. 2.157 divided by pitch. In our case, is going to be 8. Therefore, our hole depth for our particular gear is going to be 0 0.2696. Okay, so in other words, we're going to set the depth here to 1.27. Then we're going to measure across our gear tooth. Our gear tooth needs to be 1.96 in thickness to have the proper feel and fit. Okay, so whenever we use our gear tooth vernier, we always set the affected addendum. First, we're going to lock the upper arm lock here. Then we're going to unlock our lower arm lock. Then we're going to turn our thumb screw. So by locking this one, this one stays fixed. This guy allows the beam to move up and down. We can set our depth that way. Next, we're going to measure our tooth thickness. Now we can't set this because if you set it and it's too small, it'll go down. And if we set it and it's too large, it'll just plop right in. So we need to actually measure what the tooth thickness is. So we do the same procedure. We lock the outer piece here. We unlock this one. Then we use the thumb screw to adjust in until we get our reading. Okay, we just covered the procedure on step-by-step -step how to measure. Now let's take a look at these two vernier, or sorry, gear tooth verniers. Can you tell the difference between the two? No? Let's zoom in a little bit and see. Ah, see, you got it right now. This guy here is a 20 scale, and this guy here is a 25 scale. Our standard gear tooth vernier. Let's take a look at our measurement. If the two zeros line up, which you'll never have them line up, that means that it's set at zero. The distance from one line to another, keep in mind this guy here, if you look at the scale, this guy's a 20 scale. Okay, so this guy's a 20 scale. So each one of these lines here is worth 20, so there's five lines, so therefore, the first line is going to be 100. Or you could just see the 100 mark here and say, oh, that's 100 thou. So the bottom scale. To save arguing, we're just going to say that the five lines up. The most difficult part about this is reading the scale. Therefore, each one of these lines equals 1 thou. Therefore, that's 5 thou. So therefore, this measurement reading on this scale is going to be 105 thou. Let's solve for this setting. So each one of these guys here is 20 thou. So we have 20 thou from here to here. So therefore, this guy's two, one, two lines is going to be tw uh, 40 thou. Let's read the lower scale. So we're going to say that this line lines up, and that's going to be the 14 line. So 14 thou plus 40 thou is going to be 54 thou. Okay, so let's solve for this lower setting here. The tooth thickness measurement. So our first number equals 100. So then the second line is going to be 20 thou. So we have 120 thou. Now let's read the lower scale. So to save arguing, we're going to say that the number, I guess we're going to say that's 14, lines up. So that's 4. Okay, so 120 thou plus 14 thou is going to be 134 thou. Okay, now that we know how to measure, let's try this on a real tool.
Okay, I am going to set the caliper, the gear tooth vernier caliper, to the corrected addendum. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to loosen this thumb screw off, and then I'm going to tighten this one down. Then I'm going to use this thumb screw to adjust the bar or the tongue in and out. Bear with me, this will be a little bit shaky. Okay, so what I want to do is make this 102. So we want this line, oops, this line right here to line up. So we'll adjust this guy down. Oops, wrong way. Bear with me with the shakiness. And we want to see that two line up. Second one line up there. Right about there, I'm going to say. Okay, now the corrected addendum is set on the gear tooth vernier. Okay, now I want to measure the gear tooth thickness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this one off. Then I'm going to tighten this one down. And then I'm going to use this thumb screw here to adjust the jaw in and out. So I'm going to place this on here. Put it into the center there. Bear with the shaking a small amount. Got to get a good feel on here. It's tough to get a feel. I'll say right about there. Now I'm going to lock this one down. Let's zoom in and get our measurement. And what I can see here is it's a hundred. And then since the 20 lines up and the zero lines up, it's 120 thou. We should be having 131 thou. So therefore, this gear is worn by at least 10 thou on the tooth thickness. Might be time to replace. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you want to see other great videos, check out my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. And this is only the first video in this series, so check back periodically for updates. Have a great night.